day seven, uh, heading up from Lescun up to Refugio of the Arlet, and we found a hacker buddy. Oh, <laughs> he's hey. also doing HRV. Yeah, he's from Germany. Name is Marcus. Okay. Yeah, yesterday we had a pretty big storm coming through. Uh, it was just wind blowing from all directions and the tent got really wet from inside because it would just somehow blow the rain from under the tarp and we didn't do a very good job of tightening the tensioning the tent so it was a bit loose and it was too late to get out and fix it so <laughs> we just slept a bit in a puddle so that was fun tell us what happened accident That's whose accident. pole did you break <laughs> my knees up to Lake de Stanes. It's already quite late in the day, about five o'clock. So far, yeah, about 30 kilometer day. Probably by the end be about 2,000 meters of ascent again. Legs are slightly cooked. <laughs> been very steep the last uphill. But I mean, I think today has been the best use so far. Like compared to previous days. Yeah, so to this plan is now we are going down to Kandanchu. It's like a small town, has a shop because the upcoming days is like the first uh, sort of real high mountain passes with snow and ice and uh, a lot more technical terrain. We will need to maybe carry four, four plus days of food from the town after Risa place, 14 kilometers of uphill up to the Refugio de Pombe. this very nice looking plateau here right below the peak uh, Umidi de Osao it's one of the symbolic peaks of the Pyrenees and it's a pretty rad place here for a campsite there is a lake for a swim to set up a tent and the view of course is spectacular this is why we do it <laughs> but unfortunately we are not staying here now we are still going up to Col du Pyrge 
which is uh, still a few hundred meters of ascent and then we're gonna go down to Refuge de Pombe down to the refugio the pombe, pombe. and yeah it's kind of it's nice but kind of a lot of people because it's there is a road down in the valley so it's easy access and it's sunday it's very beautiful but uh, it's still bright outside and we still have some some gunpowder left in our legs to burn so I think we will just keep going. Good morning, day nine. We are ready to roll out. It's about 6.50. There is still moon somewhere and yeah today is gonna be uh, the most difficult day so far at least according to the guide have uh, yeah, two high mountain passes 2500 and 2600 meters tall supposedly a bit challenging rocky steep might be some snow who knows so we'll go and see Last night was just crazy thunderstorm. Like the whole sky was just like flashing constantly, like purple, blue, red, and then the massive hail came. Like a, grains were like about a centimeter in uh, in the size in diameter. Approaching the tricky section right ahead of us It's like just really exposed ground Because if you slip It's a long way down there the passage de Ortega and now we supposedly have the two challenging uh, calls or uh, mountain passes still ahead of us so yeah we're still gonna ascend for about 300 meters from here and yeah but it seems like there's no snow so just probably steep bouldery terrain
Giorgio. So the plan is to get down to the valley. We can't really bypass the mountain or skirt around it because they're just cliffs. So we have to go down and then up. We're not sure yet how far we're gonna go. Because like, yeah, it seems like maybe another thunderstorm is on the way. I just saw a rescue helicopter flew over us and pretty much landed there on the mountain. Yeah, like with these, this type of terrain, the rocks are like all wet and like slippery, like have to be 100% focused. Real shite. We have to go over a pretty high mountain pass right there. Good news are that uh, there's no thunder, only rain. So, but yeah, there might be some slippery rocks. But we are halfway up, sort of. So there is, I guess, no turning back. So we're just gonna go and do it. Right, guys? Woo! <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Everyone seems very excited. Yes. <laughs> best, best sleep I ever had. Thousand seven hundred and six meters. Rain, sort of on and off. Small, small drizzle here and there. Not too windy, so France looks pretty, pretty shady. But if we look into Spain, it's uh, sunny. <laughs> well, almost <laughs> as sunny as it gets today, probably. So. That's where we're gonna descend to Refugio de Balon. Yosemite vibe with pine trees a bit lower down and like kind of these gray granite rocks that are exposed. So, yeah, 
really, really beautiful. Turned out the day. Not what we expected when we set out this morning. So we just witnessed uh, another helicopter rescue, second in two days, so yeah, these mountains are no joke. People are getting into trouble and in need of rescuers to come. Crazy day, 32, 33 kilometers, way over 2,000 meters of ascent. Was four mountain passes. Looks like pretty busy town. It's like hundreds of cars, thousands of people. But yeah, we will just go for a coffee, I guess, and then go find the campsite. Hope that there will be like any place for a tent left. But the amount of uh, people here, there might not. <laughs> so we'll see. Yeah, it's a popular spot for sure, I think. Hikers, runners, everyone. Hiker trash. Yeah, hiker trash like us. 